4.50 pickup that we had to be 15 minutes ready for on either side, so we got up at 4.10 this morning. Headed to the Grand Canyon, went to one bus, and then they moved us to a second bus, but our bus was last, but thankfully we did get seats together. Though in the back, better than not together. So. <laughs> that can have a pro. Not so bad. Here we go. We're officially in Arizona. <laughs> this is so cool. We saw this little truck. Well, not the little truck. We saw this truck. I was like, hey, nobody else is going over there. This seems like a great place to take a picture with the landscape. Looks cool. It says last stop, which is our first stop, ironically. <laughs> Our next stop is at Route 66, and I didn't know where we were stopping. I knew that there was gonna be a few stops between Las Vegas and the Grand Canyon, which I might not have mentioned, that's where we're going. <laughs> it's gonna make me feel like I'm in a Cars movie. Oh, I'm so excited about that. Okay, so the next stop is not Route 66. There ended up being a truck on the highway that put on his blinkers on an overpass that completely blocked the road and the bus had to back up onto the highway to choose a different route, which is hilarious. So instead we are doing it on the way back. Now we're at Mavericks and then we are headed for lunch in the Grand Canyon and then we'll hit Route 66 on the way back. It's crazy to go from these yet to like Snow and mountains. There's a mountain over here. Where is it? Here? It's covered in snow! Our tour bus lady is something else. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. Yeah. We had options, which we didn't know booking this tour, to either walk 2.2 miles or for half an hour see the canyon and then go to restaurants and museums. <laughs> and uh, she said it's too cold to walk, but it is gorgeous. I told her we're Canadians and we want to do it anyway. We were first the only two people that wanted to do it, but as we got closer, I think there's like a good 15 people on the bus now who are like, yeah, yeah let's be like the Canadians and make the trail. It's like 2.2 miles and like it's cold and like you're gonna be like... It doesn't take that long to walk 2.2 miles, like we could do it an hour, so. And we get to soak up more of this. Honestly, it was hilarious. The way she was selling it was like, you don't want to do it. It's yeah. cold. <laughs> more than that, she was like, okay, so you have half an hour at this point, and then uh, I'm going to drive you like, to a restaurant and museum. museum and souvenir shops. I can just walk 2.5 miles, and it's going to be freezing. It's gonna be and you get a bathroom, and I pick and you up. And, and, and just get the bathroom. <laughs> 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 oh, by the way, you just walk all the way along. It was I really it interesting. Yeah. <laughs> but it went from like two us to like 15 real fast when we were like, mm, kind of what we came here for. <laughs> Leave a little. With only having two hours to do 2.5 miles, we can only do so many of these little details. But... Woo woo! <laughs> Thankfully, we can prepare with the right shoes. <laughs> we are kind of pros for that.
you want extra hands down there? You guys can. Yeah. This place is absolutely incredible. I feel fortunate that we can actually make it here. We booked this whole trip two weeks in advance and I booked this like five days in advance because I realized how close it was. I was like, can't miss that. Can't miss that. Drop. Oh. I think that's the only viewpoint over there. Do you see? Why do you do this to me? <laughs> oh, we just can't stop laughing about this bus driver we have. She's like a tour bus driver for the Grand Canyon who doesn't think the Grand Canyon is worth more than 30 minutes. She's like, eh, you won't see anything on the trail. Lies. This is unbelievable. The wasp waking up at 4 a.m. this morning. Yep, 4 a.m. this morning, getting to bed super late, staying up in the middle of the night because I had a friggin' headache, waking up with a headache, and getting on this bus. 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 All super worth it. Absolutely amazing. Don't let anybody talk you out of the things that you want to do because, no. <laughs> 
It's so comfortable with you, which is just a trip. It's like, give me your ice cream, please. <laughs> We're at our last stop and it's literally last stop again. And I go into the bathroom and I look at look at <laughs> look at myself. I got so sunburned at the Grand Canyon today. <laughs> Apparently it was cold. <laughs> like I would have called it a I would not have called it a tour. Yeah. I would have called it a bus ride, though I loved it and I loved our stops, but like I took bus rides all over the country in Australia. I've done it in a lot of countries actually, but that reminded me a lot really of an Australian bus ride where every now and again the bus driver talks, but quite rarely mentions something because they just want to be social, has a few pit stops because everybody needs to use the bathroom and grab a coffee or something. Yeah and drops you off where you want to go and when you're ready to be picked up or whatever you just get on a bus and come back so it was very much like a bus trip to the grand canyon from las vegas and back i would not have called it a tour that lady was so confusing she almost never spoke and like three separate times she got mad at the patrons on the bus for very legitimate questions trying to understand <laughs> where we're we getting dropped off or where are we going next or yeah. like things like that and she would get mad at them on the radio because like she has like a speaker thing for the whole bus she, was with the chips. she would eat chips like <laughs> like on the radio it was nuts but uh she got mad at them and the last time it was hilarious because we were all about to get off the bus because it was the end of the tour tour bus ride and she was like getting mad at somebody because they asked about the drop-off locations totally legitimate question and she was like excuse me i'm talking about this she right now no me. she didn't even say excuse me i can't even pretend to be as impolite <laughs> as she was like, honestly it was another level she was like super rude i can't even I'm pretend explain. i'm explaining to you right now like she was yeah. incredibly rude and then like five seconds after she responded to this lady she was like, so by the way, this is the service industry and I do take tips and gratuity. So, you know, think about that. <laughs> and then like, I looked at some other people who were Amer most of the people around us were Americans. And I looked at them, because I, of course I've been social with like half of the people around us. I talk to everyone. <laughs> um, 
I looked at them and was like, oh my god, she's not the most polite lady ever. And they were also laughing. They're like, this is an absolute joke. Honestly, we had a great day though. Yeah, it was cool. Highly recommend that trip to anybody. I'm gonna take the stairs. Definitely recommend that trip to anybody. You should definitely go see the Grand Canyon. Everything is so close. You kind of forget. I don't really know my American geology. Geography? The word's geography. 